Welcome back to another episode of the ARC Switch Survival Guide. We've been teaching you about shoulder-mounted pets, and the otter is one of the cutest and most helpful pets you can get. It makes a great fashion accessory, which keeps you very warm and cool at the same time. And it can also hunt fish and gather pearls for you, which makes it one of the safest and most effective ways to gather silica pearls and black pearls in ARC at an early level. We're going to teach you how to tame an otter yourself and uh, a lot of really helpful tips and tricks for how to tame and care for your otter. So be sure to watch the rest of this episode and we'll help you get your very own cute cuddly little fashion accessory. Now the first step in taming an otter is actually finding it, which is the hardest part usually. Otters are very small and hard to find, but this is a map which will show you every spot that you can find otters. And uh, we've got a whole guide on where to find any dinosaur in this playlist. So uh, at the end of the episode, you'll see a link to the Switch Survival Guide playlist. And be sure to check out that episode if you don't know how to use this map. It is very helpful and you can find any dinosaur on the map. Now you can find otters in most of the major rivers around the island, and every red square shows where they can be found, but they're very rare in those red squares. The yellow squares are much more common, and so that's going to be where you want to look if you're uh, just kind of flying around trying to find otters. Now the otter that we found is right here in this square, and you can see the latitude and longitude on the screen for that location. We happen to have a base up on the cliff above that, and so we are going to leave from this spot here, that lagoon is where our base is parked, and go all the way along the island to the cliff base where we spotted the otter. Now another thing that's really helpful in taming otters is to tame an ichthyornis, and once again we have a guide on how to do that effectively and also how to use it to hunt for fish. So be sure to check out those guides if you don't know how to do that. Now we are going to go super fast forward because this is a very long flight. We're going down from the middle of the southern coast of the island to pretty far down the coast, and uh, we're going to pass a couple of good sized rivers, and any of those rivers, if you go far enough upstream, you may spot an otter. So uh, we're getting pretty close to this place over here. And I'm just hopping from rock to rock so I don't run out of stamina. And it looks like we've got a couple more Hesperornis running around down here. I'm not going to bother with them right now because I am on a mission, but we may come back for those later because they are a great oil gathering factory. They just make eggs that have oil in them, and that's very helpful. So uh, we have a guide on how to do that too. So we're just going to rest up for one second, and I just want to check and see that turns out there is still a beaver dam down there. And uh, that's actually a great way to get about a hundred silica pearls if uh, you don't mind risking being attacked by a beaver. So here we are back in our main base. Uh, this was the first big base that we built it's up on a cliff. Pretty fun. And I'm just going to scout this area here real quick with a pteranodon. And looks like our otter is still swimming around down there. Now anytime you do anything at the base of a cliff, you need to find out what's on the top of a cliff because it uh, looks like there's nothing up here so we're totally safe to run around down there, but you never know if there's a Tyrannosaur sitting up there just waiting to jump down on your head, and they always wander into the most inconvenient places. So I'm also checking around to see what kind of fish we have here, and I know sometimes you can get saber-tooth salmon in this area. Those are the most effective way to tame an otter. They love saber-tooth salmon, and the bigger the salmon, the better. So it looks like we're pretty safe to land here. This is the starting zone. This is the very first default starting zone right on that peninsula, and it uh, looks like we've got plenty of stuff here. So I'm going to drop my Ichthyornis and let it fly around, and uh, I'm going to make sure that I've got it selected as my main control group here, and it looks like we do have it active. That's great. So I'm going to jump into the water, and just like we taught you on that other guide, I'm going to whistle for it to attack the saber-toothed salmon. Now when an ichthyornis attacks a salmon, it actually gives it this glowing yellow buff, which makes it about ten times as effective at taming when we're doing passive tames like an otter. Now you can definitely do this without an ichthyornis, but it takes about ten times 
times as much effort and you need a lot of fish around. So I highly recommend getting an ichthyornis first. And if you don't know how to do this, uh, we'll drop a link in the description which will show you exactly how to get an ichthyornis and how to use it to tame other animals like otters. So I can see the otter in the water here and they are very hard to keep up with. They're pretty small, they're very fast and agile, and they wander all over the place while you're trying to tame them. So you really want to keep track of your otter, and it's very easy to lose track of it, especially if you've got a large body of water. But we're going to swim right up to it, and you can see where it says feed fish, and we're just going to hit the X button to give it some fish. And it just got a lot of progress on its taming bar right there. I mean, I think it got like 30-40% of its taming bar just from that one salmon. So you can see how effective this ichthyornis is. So I'm just going to keep killing salmon. And uh, there we go. Got another one here. And he'll just bring that back on over to me. And then we're just going to keep feeding our otter every, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. They get hungry again. And there we go. Now you can technically do this if you just kill a whole bunch of fish and just keep dragging them out and feeding them to the otter, but it will take quite a while. Now another interesting thing is uh, a pteranodon can actually pick up an otter. So if it comes out of the water like it is right now, you can actually carry it on the pteranodon and drop it into your base or uh, into a taming pen, and that makes it much easier to tame them because they're really easy to keep track of if they're stuck in a pen. But, uh, you know, as you can see, this guy's just going to keep running around, and I'm just going to keep trying to feed it this fish. There we go. Oh, man, that is almost all the way tamed up. You can see where this ichthyornis is already paying off right away, and uh, it's just going to keep making our lives so much easier. We're also going to use it to get a limitless supply of prime meat for taming carnivores, and once we have a refrigerator, we can just fill that up with prime meat by uh, using this ichthyornis to hunt dodos, and we'll basically just have all the meat we need to tame all kinds of really high-level predators throughout the rest of this game. So let's go ahead and feed this guy again and see how we're doing and boom we got ourselves an otter and uh, if any of you have a good suggestion for a cute name for a female otter this is one cute little animal right here so uh, we've got some extra fish and uh, you can hit X to pick up the otter and double tap X to toss it back onto the ground. And uh, after this fish got picked up by our ichthyornis, it actually drops prime meat now, which is very helpful. So we'll give our otter a nice little snack of prime meat since we want to be really good friends with her, right? So now I have two shoulder mounted pets and I need to bring them back to my base. But uh, before we do that, let me show you one other thing about this otter. So you can see here I've got hypothermal and hyperthermal insulation, and they're both reasonably low. But after I pick up the otter, it wraps around my shoulders and is basically a nice little warming and cooling blanket. I guess it's warm with its fur, but it's also cool if it's wet. And then if we check my stats again, you're going to see that it's grown by about 100 warm and about 50 cool insulation. And that's enough to keep me pretty happy and safe in just about any environment. With this flak armor, I should actually be safe in pretty cold areas now that I have an otter. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to get this otter. We're also going to be able to use it to gather pearls, which I will teach you in the next episode. But before we go any further, let me show you another nifty little trick with otters. They can actually wear a helmet. And if you look here, this otter has zero armor right now. But if I put my flak helmet on it, it immediately looks like the coolest little otter you've ever laid eyes on, right? That is one intimidating fluffy animal. Wouldn't want to run into that in a dark alley, right? So uh, we now have about a hundred armor on this otter, which makes it way more durable. It also looks cool and intimidating, you know. If you're if you're more the uh, evil overlord type, definitely get a cool hat on your otter. It can intimidate people and stare them down for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this otter with my pteranodon using the bottom left trigger, and that way I can just carry it around. It uses up a lot more stamina, but uh, it makes it much easier to carry. Also, if you've got a wild one, you can pick up a wild one and drop it into a taming pen. It makes it much easier. And I'm just going to stop for one second and give some meat to my Dilophosaurus so that they don't to starve to death while I'm gone. I just want to make sure I, they stay alive because I need them as bait to lure dinosaurs off this 
cliff on this cliff base. So we're just going to fast forward as I'm flying my otter back to my house. Now you can only carry one shoulder mounted pet at a time, so I'm carrying the otter in the pteranodon's claws, and then I have my bird on my back. And uh, I feel kind of bad because it's kind of a horrifying thing to dangle my new otter over the sharks. He looks really worried. I mean, she's, she's kind of freaking out here. I don't know, if you had a new friend that carried you up in the air over some sharks, would you like it? Drop a comment, let me know what you think. So uh, about halfway through this flight, I realized, hey, this bird on my shoulder can fly. So I'm just setting the bird on follow and letting the otter ride on my shoulders. You know, sometimes I learn things and figure them out during these guides too. Hey, what do you know? So uh, the seagull is a lot slower than my pteranodon, so I am having to fly a good bit slower. But when you're not on a flying mount, it actually has unlimited stamina, so it can just keep following us without actually having to rest itself. So this should actually get us back a lot faster because we're not using up as much stamina from carrying the uh, otter in this pteranodon's claws. And now we are just about back home, so I hope this episode was helpful. Be sure to watch the next episode where we're going to teach you even more helpful tricks and tips about otters, and we'll teach you how to use an otter to hunt for fish and gather silica pearls and black pearls, making it the safest, most effective way to get pearls without actually going down into the oceans or up into the Arctic. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe to our channel, and remember, if we hit 900 subscribers, which is coming very soon, we are going to do a Bob Ross painting on the side of a brontosaurus. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.